so in the uh, what is the meaning of mycorrhiza myco means uh, it's uh, related to fungi rhiza means it is related to roots so mycorrhizal association in the name itself suggests there is some link or association between a fungi and plant roots uh, so we can see uh, mycorrhizal associations in pteridophytes gymnosperms angiosperms okay higher plants so there is a relationship between the plant fungus and the soil so this relationship interrelationship between the plant fungus and the soil is referred to as mycorrhizal association so all the plants will show some kind of uh, association with uh, uh, fungi belonging to genera chiefly ascomycetes or basidiomycetes okay so the main uh, role uh, of the plant is to provide water and nutrients and sugars to the growing fungi what is the role of the fungus towards the plant it provides easily assimilable nutrients like uh, phosphates nitrogen some uh, fungi can uh, uh, mobilize nitrogen some fungi can mobilize phosphates from the soil so the fungi in turn it uh, gives uh, easily absorbing uh, nutrient minerals like phosphate nitrogen potassium calcium so fungi helps the plant to absorb macronutrients and micronutrients from the soil so it is a very beneficial association for both the plant roots as well as the uh, fungus so whichever plant has mycorrhizal associations they grow very well they show very good yield okay and the plant itself uh, 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 looks very healthy when compared to plants without uh, the association of uh, fungus so see mycorrhizal fungi increase the root system several hundred to several thousand times that is the the uh, fungus itself forms uh, uh, additional roots in the plants so that's why the plants can um, grow very well because the fungi acts like root hairs okay the poonjaygal vandu the veer thoovigalaga seyalpadum so they form a layer uh, over the plant roots and they act or they function like root hairs okay very fine root hairs that can go deep into the soil and absorb as much as nutrients as possible and give it to the plant okay and uh, in addition the fungi uh, also helps to bind the soil particles together so soil erosion and the and the man uh, and the arippu agada vandu tadukum so myco fungi oda or inaippu erpadumbodhu the man arippu vandu tadukapadudhu plus the plants also grow very well because it gets all the nutrients from the soil so fungi act as a bridge to transfer the nutrients from the soil to the growing plant that is why it is interconnected plant fungus and soil all the three are interconnected in the mycorrhizal association so mycorrhizae are mutualistic symbiotic mutualistic abdinale mutual a beneficial a irukum so uh, the fungi is also benefited plant is also benefited that is why we call it mutualistic symbiotic na for uh, food for living space okay for food and living space they depend on each other fungi depends on the plant plant depends on the fungi so mutualistic symbiotic association formed between the roots of higher plants and fungi so it's a greek word myco nale mushroom or fungi rhiza means root so it was di uh, discovered by frank okay um, so first it was seen in forest trees so mycorrhizal association was first observed in forest trees and they have they show see that 90% of the plants are infected by some kind of fungi mycorrhizal association 
so monocots dicots gymnosperms um, all the gymnosperms have some fungal association in the form of mycorrhiza so most important function of mycorrhiza is convert insoluble form of phosphorus uh, in soil to soluble form so normally phosphorus is not available to the plants because it is bound in the form of phosphates so phosphorus is a very important nutrient because phosphorus uh, goes into the making of uh, atp uh, dna okay so phosphorus is a very important structural component of the living system so normally it is not available to the plant when it grows no soil la vand phosphorus will be in the bound form it is not available for absorption so mycorrhiza association irukkaradunala da phosphorus the insoluble form of phosphorus is converted to soluble form karaya uh, phosphorus is converted to karayum thanmayudaiya phosphorus so only when it is in the soluble form the plants can take it up get can absorb it because all the minerals go into the plant only through the water water and minerals only together they they are absorbed by the plants so only if the minerals are soluble in water they can be absorbed easily adnalada uh, the most important task of mycorrhiza is uh, availability of phosphorus for the plant making the phosphorus available to the plant so you have different types of mycorrhiza based on the morphological and anatomical features uh, so you have endomycorrhiza ectomycorrhiza ectendomycorrhiza endonale which grows inside the plant cells ectona which grows outside the plant cells ectendo means some mycorrhiza will grow inside uh, inside the cells and also outside the root cells okay then you have um, endomycorrhiza is further classified into vam vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza orchidoid mycorrhiza uh, specific mycorrhizal fungi which are found in orchid plants you have monotropoid mycorrhiza you have ericoid mycorrhiza ericoid mycorrhiza on the specific order in angiospermic plants ericales so in that specific uh, plants belonging to ericales will have a specific mycorrhizal association so uh, you have ericoid mycorrhiza you have arbutoid mycorrhiza so these are the three main types of mycorrhiza endo ecto and ectendo under endomycorrhiza you have five types based on the morphology and anatomy of the mycorrhiza so these are the uh, basic types of mycorrhiza ectomycorrhiza vam and then orchid endomycorrhiza ericoid endomycorrhiza arbutoid endomycorrhiza so this diagram itself depicts the different forms of uh, mycorrhizal association how they will look inside the cell okay how they form vesicles and arbuscles okay so how whether they are present in intercellularly or intracellularly cell idaigalil irukuma illa cell kulla irukuma so all these uh, category uh, divisions are there in mycorrhizal association so endomycorrhiza it's a mycorrhizal association in which the fungal hyphae are present on the root surface as individual threads that may penetrate directly into the root hairs so endomycorrhiza will first grow on the outside and then it will penetrate the uh, root cells it will penetrate the root epidermis and it will go into the root cortex okay so this is called endomycorrhiza so first it will the mycorrhizal spore or the chlamydospore will germinate and it will grow as a hypha and then it will penetrate the root epidermis and grow inside the root cortex so they are endo mycorrhiza so what are vam vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza you have vam association with plants the fungi may belong to basidiomycetes or ascomycetes or zygomycetes member and they are obligate biotrophic obligate nale kandippaga this is a this will grow only inside a living root so kattaya ஒட்டுண்ணின்னு சொல்லுவோம் கட்டாய அக ஒட்டுண்ணி அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவோம் ஸோ திஸ் ஆல் வேம் ஃபஞ்சை ஆர் 
obligate biotrophic so they will only live inside a living root system so completely dependent on plants for their survival so you have this is a structure of a vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza first they will start their growth on the outside of the root and then they enter the root cortical cell they will introduce a vesicular structure okay spherical structure for absorption of nutrients and they also show finger like projections they also throw finger like projections into tree like projections arbuscal nalle tree like so tree like projections branches into the cortical cell that is why they are called vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza see orchidoid mycorrhiza uh, in this the fungus belongs to basidiomycota they belong to the class basidiomycotina and they colonize only member of family orchidaceae so you have heard of orchid plants uh, so the only those plant roots will be infected by a specific mycorrhiza called orchidoid mycorrhiza it is uh, it plays an important role in establishment of orchid seedlings so it helps the orchid seedlings to grow faster so this is purely endomycorrhizal association you can see the mycorrhiza the fungi which are growing within the cells of the orchid roots and then ericoid mycorrhiza uh, here also the fungal members are uh, usually basidiomycetes and ascomycetes members they are found in roots of plants belonging to the order ericales okay so first it will be covered by a loosely woven uh, mesh that is or valai pinnal polra hypha irko Uh, septate hypha and then the branches you can see the branches of the hypha penetrating the root cells okay so this into the cortical cells it is also a kind of endomycorrhiza only only difference here is the ericoid mycorrhiza are found in the roots of plants belonging to one specific order ericales okay the monotropoid mycorrhiza you have this is another kind of endomycorrhiza the fungi belong to basidiomycota they colonize a chlorophyllous members of angiosperms a chlorophyllous members of angiosperms na cascuta madri cascuta is a chlorophyllous they don't prepare their own food parasitic plants you call them parasitic plants that is they are parasitic on other angiospermic plants so a chlorophyllous members of angiosperms belonging to a family monotropaceae so this uh, monotropoid mycorrhiza are also specific to a particular class of angiosperms okay the family monotropaceae so plants under this family are generally parasitic on other angiospermic plants like for example cascuta so such a mycorrhizal association is called monotropoid mycorrhiza they first grow on the outside as a fungal sheath okay urai pondra amaip irukum the network of hyphae forming a sheath on the outside of the root cells and then they penetrate the root cells okay an arbitoid mycorrhiza is also uh, similar to uh, ectomycorrhiza but uh, it the found in ericaceae ericaceae family plants belonging to ericaceae they show a kind of mycorrhizal association called arbitoid mycorrhiza okay you can see hyphal coils on the inside of the root epidermis okay see it is a kind of ectomycorrhiza because it is found only in the root epidermis it doesn't penetrate the cortex only if the fungal hypha penetrates the cortex of the root it is called endomycorrhiza if it is found only in the epidermis it is a kind of ectomycorrhiza only okay so hypha uh, of the uh, it penetrates the outer cortical cells okay it uh, it enters the epidermis and it restricts itself to the outer cortical cells okay and it fills the cells in the form of hyphal coil so it is called arbitoid mycorrhiza now ectomycorrhiza is very very common all the plants show ectomycorrhizal association where fungi forms a mantle 
surrounding the root this is a root this is a plant root and the mycorrhizal fungi they colonize the outside the plant root they form a thick mantle they form a sheath or a kade um, i mean you have a wide urai pondra amaipe it surrounds the root okay the, they don't penetrate the root cells at all they are found only on the outside the root so you can see the hypha which look like root hairs okay and uh, such roots which are surrounded by fungal cells they take the shape of dicotomous root that means irandaga kilaitha vair thuvigal pondra okay they resemble a dicotomous root structure so uh, the root hair no it will show uh, dicotomous structure so vair thuvigal nama vandu gavanama paathom appadina irandaga kilaitha kanapadum okay so it is called uh, it uh, uh, ectomycorrhiza results in dicotomous branching of the root hairs so enna agum appadina it has more surface area so each rootlet if it is dicotomously branched it has more surface area it can penetrate more deeper it can absorb more amount of nutrients from the soil and give it to the plant so ectomycorrhizal associations are very much beneficial so this thick mantle which is found surrounding the root is called hartig net okay hartig net it is a network of uh, growing hyphae that extends into the root it penetrates between the epidermis and the cortex so epidermis ko cortex ko idaye vandu tangidum it will not grow further it will not grow into the cortical cell it will be found between the epidermis and the cortex so this is called the hartig nest net okay so this network is the site of nutrient exchange between the fungus and the host plant so this is the here is the site of nutrient exchange the fungi absorbs the nutrients and passes passes it on to the plant so it is called hartig net is the uh, very important uh, part of ectomycorrhizal symbiosis so hartig net is named after theodor hartig he is the person who discovered the uh, presence of such a network uh, in ecto uh, mycorrhizal association so hartig net supplies chemical elements required for plant growth such as potassium and nitrate okay so this uh, kind of uh, if you you can um, uh, increase the um, uh, tree forest form you can go in for forest um, uh, uh, formation of forest you know reforestation you call it okay that is card valarpu muraigalla nama vidaigala vande in the ecto mycorrhizal poonjaigalal you know if you coat the seeds with ecto mycorrhizal fungi and sow the seeds you can get very good uh, growth in trees very faster growth and very good growth so in the miyamaki forest nu ipo pandranga illaya like a growing dense forest artificial forests pala and then the edathla chennai la vande you can see miyamaki uh, forest appdi solrom so that is done only with the help of this mycorrhizal uh, fungi so they will coat the um, uh, they'll dip the seedling root rootlets into the fungal uh, suspension and then they will plant it or if they are sowing seeds they will uh, soak the seeds in the fungal suspension and then they will sow so as the roots come out it will be immediately colonized by the mycorrhizal associate mycorrhizal fungi and the plants will grow faster and stronger so for uh, uh, for uh, formation of forest for reforestation they say okay or tarisu nelatha vande vilai nilama maatanu appadina only with the mycorrhizal fungi it is possible okay so that kind of uh, applications are there in agriculture as well as in forestry so ectendo mycorrhiza as i as i have already discussed with ecto mycorrhiza and endo mycorrhiza this is ectendo mycorrhiza where you have fungal growth on the outside as well as penetration is seen into the root cells so fungi belong to mycidiomycotina and uh, they cover both gymnosperms and angiosperm plants and they show 
extensive intercellular penetration so ectomycorrhiza na the fungi will not penetrate into the cell it will be in between the cell cell idaigalil kanapadum ectomycorrhiza but endomycorrhiza it will go into the cell okay so uh, it uh, formation of ecto endomycorrhiza begins with formation of hartic nest so uh, modella hartic nest uruvaku uh, which grows behind the apical meristem and then it penetrates between the epidermal and the outer cortical cell and then later extends into the inner cortex so ecto mycorrhiza la patha madriye you have penetration of the fungi in between the epidermis and the cortical so purathollukum cortical cellukum idaye vande you can see the fungal growth and then further on the fungi will also penetrate the cortical cell that is why it is called ectendo mycorrhizal association okay so applications of mycorrhizae most important application uses is increase in nutrient uptake of plant from the soil most important nutrition phosphate nitrogen potassium calcium all the major macronutrients and micronutrients are absorbed by the plants only because it has mycorrhizal association it increases the diversity of the plant produces uniform seedling ore vayadil ulla naatrukale uruvaaka migum payanulladha irukum so it uh, you if you want to give the farmers or if you want to develop a new variety you can test with the mycorrhizal fungus you can get uh, same age group of seedlings significant role in nutrient recycling Uh, bio geochemical cycle cycling leo it plays a major important role it is more tolerant to adverse soil chemical constraints which limit crop production if the soil is very sick the soil is very sick in the sense soil la vandu nutrients kammiya irukku soil is very salty saline irukku uppu nariya irukku illana ph vandu sariya illa oru தாவரம் வளர்வதற்கான சாத்திய கூறுகள் வந்து குறைவா இருக்கு மண்ணில் அப்படின்னா இந்த தரிசு நிலமா இருந்தாலும் அதை வந்து நம்ம விலை நிலமா மாத்த முடியும் தட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட் இட்ஸ் இம்பார்டன்ஸ் இன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் தென் இட் இன்க்ரீஸ் த பிளான்ஸ் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு டிசீசஸ் அண்ட் ட்ராட் ஸோ வென் த பிளான்ட் ஹேஸ் அ மைக்ரோரைசல் அசோசியேஷன் ஈவன் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் அ லெஸ் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் த பிளான்ட் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு சர்வை பிகாஸ் த ஃபஞ்சாய் கேன் அப்சார்ப் அட்மாஸ்பெரிக் வாட்டர் மாய்ஸ்சர் so the fungi because it is very fine hypha uh, it can absorb uh, as much of moisture it can and it can supply to the plant so if even if the plant is not getting adequate water uh, of a plant with mycorrhizal association can survive the drought condition drought na and the uh, what to say the thanni illada oru soonala irukum அந்த சூழ்நிலையிலையும் தாவரங்கள் வந்து நல்லா வளரும் அண்ட் இட் இன்க்ரீசஸ் பிளான்ஸ் டிசீஸ் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு டிசீசஸ் ஸோ தாவர நோய்களுக்கு எதிரையும் த மைக்ரோரைசா வில் ஹெல்ப் பிகாஸ் மைக்ரோரைசா இஸ் கவரிங் த ஃபஞ்சா இஸ் கவரிங் த ரூட் ஸோ வேறு வழியாக எந்த நோய் தொற்றும் உள்ள நுழைய முடியாது ஸோ தட் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் த பிளான் டு no develop resistant towards root borne diseases where variyaga endha thottrum nuraiya mudiyadha padi this mycorrhiza will help the plant in developing resistant against diseases then it stimulates the growth of beneficial microorganisms so roots la vande vera nariya nunnuyirgal la irukum rhizosphere appdin solluvom it forms a uh, what to say layer surrounding the root you have so many beneficial microorganisms so that uh, they will grow well and help the plant to further improve in their uh, growth and then apart from that it improves the soil structure i told you it prevents soil erosion it helps the soil particles to aggregate so uh, in, uh, the sandy soil kuda if you can 
put a mycorrhizal fungi in about one month's time, the soil will become very rich. So it will support growth. So you can even convert a desert into a, uh, you know, agricultural place if you make use of the mycorrhizal uh, fungi. So you can even convert a place which is like a desert into a forest. That is only called a uh, re, re, uh, afforestation, you call it. So you convert a place which was not supporting growth of plants before to a forest. So that is why why it is possible means it is stay with, uh, it aggregates the soil particles, it keeps the soil particles together, it prevents soil erosion. So because the, there is a hyphal polysaccharides which bind the soil particles. So it improves the soil structure, thereby promoting plant growth. Increases absorption of phosphate by crops. Uptake of zinc is increasing. Uptake of water from the soil is increased. Okay. And sulfur, which is important for the plant growth, is increasing. Increases the concentration of cytokinin and fluoroplast in plants. So growth promoting hormones are there. So it affects the uh, growth promoting hormones and increases the function of the growth promoting hormones so that the plants grow very well. Okay, and they protect the plants during stress condition. The mycorrhizal association protects the plant from uh, stress condition. So these are some of the most important fung functions of mycorrhiza, uh, mycorrhizal association in the plant. So these are some of the diagrammatic, uh, uh, you know, uh, see the fungi first enters the, the fungi, whichever is going to form a mycorrhizal association, they are present in the soil in the form of sclerotia or rhizomorphs. Okay, these are all hyphal modifications which I had uh, told you uh, before. Uh, so they are present in the soil in the form of sclerotia and rhizomorph and then they start growing around the root. Okay, so as hyphae and absorptive hyphae forming hartig net surrounding the roots. Okay, and uh, this is just to show you the difference between mycorrhizal association, plant with mycorrhizal association and plant without mycorrhizal association. You can see the amount of root, uh, which is the surface area of the root, how much it has increased. Okay, and then uh, you can see here how the plants grow with the mycorrhizal association, how very little plants are uh, growing. The, uh, the growth is so uh, bad in a pot without mycorrhizal association. So mycorrhiza are packeted, if they are grown and uh, they are packeted and it is available to the farmers for use in the form of packets, okay, for a very, very nominal price. So mycorrhizal association is very essential because it has several benefits. Okay, so this is the importance of mycorrhiza. So you can use a mycorrhizal fungus to develop a forest, to increase yield in agricultural field. Okay, so it is very important as an agricultural uh, as well as uh, forest development. So these are, these are the functions of uh, mycorrhizal fungi. Uh, which I have included, you can take it down in the form of notes. So other diagrams, how the dichotomous branching is seen, the fungi developing dichotomous branching in ectomycorrhiza. Okay, these are some diagrammatic representation of mycorrhiza. You can see, you can see the dichotomously branched uh, rootlets, you know, the roots, the plant roots, which showed mycorrhizal association after the harvest, you can see the mycorrhizal association. The fungi will uh, survive in the soil till the next plant is sowed. Okay, in the form of rhizomorphs. Okay, you can see the fungi inside the cortical cells and outside the root. Hartig net. You can see the thick hartig net surrounding the plant root. So then the next we move on to. Fossil uh, fungi. Fossil of uh, 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 You know what are fossils? Uh, they are very old, uh, the living organisms which have lived uh, thousands and uh, uh, ten thousands of years ago. Geological time scale you would have studied when you were in your second year or the first year. So you have the, the uh, time period which is divided into era, okay, Paleozoic era, 
you know uh, cretaceous era miocene so you have the geological time scale so ethaneyo aayiram varshangalukku munnadi irundha fungi you have records of fungi which have been in the uh, on earth before the living organisms uh, began their life okay so uh, fossil nale ungalk tamil la enna solvinga and padivangal tollu yer padivangal so and the madri you have some fungal uh, evidences also evidences for fungi also are available uh, so cretaceous era they have done a lot of study in uh, uh, you know foreign countries about uh, uh, fungi fossils okay poonjaygalaga irukkum and tolluir padimangal poonjaygal tolluir padimangalaga irukkukudiya poonjaygal so they have seen uh, uh, perithesium uh, in the cretaceous miocene era la perithesium uh, paathirukanga which is a uh, fruiting body ascocarp appdi solvom ascocarp na the ascomycetes uh, fungi la irukkukudiya the sexual apparatus okay ma palina perukathirkaga udavi puriyum oru pagudi udala pagudi poonjayin udala pagudi so uh, perithesium flask shaped structure you can see okay the fossils have not received a great deal of attention that is matra tolluir padevangalaga plants higher plants iruka animals iruka insects iruka okay and uh, fungi have not received so much attention because it is very difficult to preserve fungi fungi body is very very soft hypha are very very soft so you don't find more evidences of fossil fungi okay whatever you have found are recent evidences not very very old because it cannot survive okay so most of the fossil fungi are uh, embedded in amber amber abdin or or dravam and the gond pondra pisin pondra or dravam surakkum amber it's a precious semi precious gem abdin solvom semi precious gem so amber kulla sila poonjaygal in padivangal irukkadnal now they have discovered a uh, few fungi which are fossilized in amber so mostly the fungi which are fossilized uh, belong to terrestrial plants so nilathil vaalakudiya poonjaygal da vandu tolluir padimamaga kandupidikapattirukku so very very few fungi are uh, have been discovered based on fossil records most of them belong to this mycorrhizal association the vam fungi ninga pathinga na you have the, the devonian kaalathila irukka kudiya sila sections eduthirukanga adha root sections edukumbodhu they have found some mycorrhizal association they have also identified the fungus paleomyces and they have seen spore structures fungal spores uh, uh, from certain places the oldest fossil fungi is a chytrid like forms from the pre cambrian before the dinosaurus uh, uh, ages okay and they have most of the work has been done only in foreign countries in russia because only there the temperature is very very low temperate temperature snow covered or so as such the living organisms will be buried and decomposition will be very less in colder climates so uh, the preservation will be more so fossil fossilized fungal pa- parts are seen only in uh, uh, cold countries not in uh, tropical countries okay so we have this is this is the geological time scale uh, related to fungi you have ectomycorrhiza which have been found 50 million years ago you have found uh, fungi in uh, lichen 50 million years ago you have mushrooms found in amber 90 million years ago okay uh, uh, arbuscular mycorrhizal fungus have been found in the triassic era deciduomycotina fungi have been found in permian era so this is the geological time scale based on fungal fossils so the study of fungal fossils fungi is called paleomycology paleo botany in padichirpinga so it is called paleo mycology is uh, they have 1830s la a lot of people have done work on paleo mycology but uh, they have uh, uh, 
brought into only in mid 19th century la da veliyila vandirukadu okay so you have uh, fossil records in proterozoic era of oomycotina phanerozoic era kyteridiomycota devonian era terrestrial oomycota okay carboniferous era la you have more of fossils carboniferous era is slightly recent one you have uh, parasitic oomycota zygomycota basidiomycota okay polyporales have been seen in mesozoic era okay so all these are recent uh, uh, additions so okay. cenozoic era le you have a, it is called age of ascomycota okay so you just have to take few points from the notes and uh, write if it is asked in the b part question so when uh, you please 